be a liar. They threatened that I was going to go in prison for 30 years because I was hiding something. Police confronted Amanda about a text message she sent to her boss at La Chic Bar, Patrick Lumumba. They kept repeating to me that I was lying. I was confused. The interrogation went on for hours. And according to Amanda, the Italian police became aggressive. I had been pressured so much and I was hit in the back of the head by one of the police officers. After hours with no sleep, no food, and no lawyer, Amanda told police a dramatically different story about the night of the murder. Lei, she simply says that she accompanied Lamumba. She let him in. Then she remained outside of the room while he accomplished what she describes as sexual violence, and then murder. With this statement, which she reportedly dictated to Italian police and signed, she put herself at the crime scene and fingered Lumumba as the murderer. On November 6, Amanda Knox and Raffaele Solecito were arrested for the murder of Meredith Kircher. Patrick Lumumba was picked up that morning and also booked on charges of murder. Prosecutor Giuliano Mignini and his team had developed a theory about the case. Meredith Kircher had been murdered in a violent sex game. Amanda and Raffaele assisted, while Patrick did the killing. They were saying that because she'd refused to succumb to this evil, brutal, drug-fueled sex game, she'd been murdered. The way the police presented it was it was a slam dunk case, that it was case closed, they'd found the killer. The mastermind was Amanda Knox. The day she got a handcuff, she was guilty. That's how they portrayed it us. No ifs, ands, or buts, locked the keys away. You know, we found the murder. In that press conference, it was the first thing that the prosecutor had said. The Perugia Police Force had been tasked to try and solve this crime as quickly as possible to save the, the face of Perugia as a beautiful, tranquil city. And uh, that's what they'd done within just four days. While prosecutors were waiting for the forensic evidence to support their theory, the media filled in the lurid details for a public transfixed by the story. There was an appetite, there was a hunger to find out who Amanda Knox was, who Raphael Celeste was, who Patrick Lumumba was. 